Hey gang, what it's popping? Hope you all are doing great. Welcome to another reaction with your girl Simga Style. So today we'll be checking out Bob Dylan, Positively Fourth Street. Yo, you all know how we do it. We go straight and see what Positively Fourth Street is all about and know what Bob Dylan got for us. Anyone ready to go do this with me? Straight up, gang. Come on, let's go do this together. <laughs> Dillion is a great, one of the greatest poets ever. He does this effortlessly. You cannot, you cannot compete with him. If you can't beat them, you join them. It's either you love him or you don't love him. Well, I am on the right side, and I hope you are on the right side. Oh my God. I wish that just for once, that you are going to stand in my shoes, you know? 
and you would know what a drag it is to see you. You know, people do not understand it. How it feels, you know, when they see so, how you handle when people when people this is an example. When people see how you move, how you handle things effortlessly, or how you do things that think um, it's that easy, you know. So sometimes uh, it's okay to swap shoes. Let's see who survives whose shoes and all of that. So let's, uh, I hope you can stand in my shoes and know how I mean, the drag it is. Absolutely one of the best lines ever written. I love it. I love it. And one thing I love about this song is like it was able to capture. Did I say like, you know, uh, like, you know, when you have that uh, faithless uh, friend, those ones that do not want to believe in anything, that do not have faith and all that. I mean, that is, I think that is what, like, you know, the song, like, was able to capture that, and that is really very great. See, this song was well written. I don't know how to explain it, but it was well done. You know, when something was well cooked, it was absolutely well cooked. The best wit of our times. He also came out, he did his greatest best, serving us the poet, I mean, the everything back to back and all of that. And I absolutely enjoy this. And uh, you can imagine in 2024, I am here analyzing and talking about how great this song is. You can imagine the first people that experienced the song when it came out, probably in the 1960s, how they felt, how crazy most of them went about Bob Dylan's songs and the lines and all of that. You have no faith to lose, you know? And, uh, and that is really a very great line too, you know? All my time, I don't know, I think this week I choose the very best of Bob Dylan's, like, you know, very best. And I am here screaming, how come I haven't seen all these songs all this well? So I guess they came at the right, they came to me at the right time. Everything about this song is well done, well, well put together. The lyrics, absolutely. Everything, everything, everything about the song is absolutely great. I enjoyed it. The lines that came with the songs were really on fire. Like when you, we say a great tune, this one is fire, you know? And you know what? We all love fire and all that. So to um, to everybody asking, are you sure she's enjoying it? Trust me, this particular one is a masterpiece, you know? The melody, the lyrics, and that the arrangement on every level. What is, I don't know what I am seeing. I feel like something is flying around. I don't like it. Sorry about that. You know, the song is absolutely gorgeous on every level. And uh, I absolutely, and the song is just on its own lake, you know. Knowing something is on its own lake, that shows you how amazing, how great, how beautiful. This song is timeless. Anytime you open, anytime you decide to listen to it, it is definitely going to speak to you in its own way. And that is how why I love it. Absolutely a very great one. And uh, let me know what you all think in the comment section. And from me to you, here we go. Mm. See you all in my next video. Bye for now.